Hey guys, I'm just chilling out at my local library this morning and wanted to share with you 10 new releases for 2024 that I'm really excited to read. So these are in no particular order. They're just some that are coming out this year that I'm pretty hyped about. So the first one that I had is uh, called Resilient, and this is the untold story of CrossFit's greatest comeback. This is Brooke Wells. Um, I've kind of been in and out on following the CrossFit games for a lot of years, but I have really enjoyed everything that I've watched about them, everything that I've read about them, and then I missed this whole thing that happened in the 2021 games, but apparently she dislocated her elbow, and this is just her recovery story. And I really like memoirs, I really like things by people that have overcome really difficult and scary things, and so this book just seemed perfect. I saw it and was like, oh heck yes, I am, I'm reading that one for sure. The next one that we had is Welcome to the Basement, an upside down guide to greatness by Tim Ross. Tim came and spoke at our conference for uh, the Belonging Co., the church that I go to, and I loved the man. He was so, so good. His talk was amazing, and I've watched some of his stuff, kind of listened to some of his podcasts since then, uh, but saw that he had a book coming out and was just like, yep, for sure, definitely, definitely doing that one. Um, next up, we had I Could Be Wrong, But I Doubt It, Why Jesus is Your Greatest Hope on Earth and in Eternity. And this is Phil Robertson's new one. I love Phil Robinson. I read all of his other books, and I just like I just love it. I love how freaking direct the man is and just how, just, yeah, just how simple and direct everything is for him. And I've really enjoyed all his books, and so totally going to get that one and support him uh, just because I love his message and I love the way that he presents the gospel to people. Um, I think he does a really great job of it. And he's just, some of his books have been some of my favorite ones that I've, that I've read. So that's definitely going to be one that I get. Next up, we had Three Inch Teeth. This is the latest in the Joe Pickett series by CJ Box. This is one of my favorite series of all time, bar none. Uh, Joe Pickett is a game warden in Wyoming. And yeah, the Joe Pickett novels are just amazing. Like everybody should read them. They're so, so good. I absolutely love them. I cannot wait for the next one to come out. Um, yeah, just one a year. It's like the highlight of my year when a new Joe Pickett comes out. And about the only thing that matches up with that is going to be the new Orphan X novel. <laughs> um, Orphan X, again, one of my top series. Both of these are in my top five series easily. They are insanely good. I guess there's been nine Orphan X books so far. Um, and I picked the first one up on a whim and read it in 24 hours and then have devoured every single one since then. They are just some of the best. Evan Smoke is the character, and he is just a complete badass, but he lives by these wonderful principles that are actually mirrored. Uh, Greg Hewitt's is friends with Jordan Peterson, and so before Jordan Peterson wrote 12 Rules for Life, uh, he had kind of shared them with Greg, and so those were part of the first book and kind of a plot point throughout the whole series and everything. And uh, so yeah, just really, 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 really good series. I love it. Um, next up, we had the Everything Token, How NFTs and Web3 Will Transform the Way We Buy, Sell, and Create. This is just a newer book on kind of the development of the whole NFTs, Web3, all the crypto stuff. Um, I'm super interested in a lot of that just because of my tech background and just the spent probably like a year and a half super delving into all of the technical side of it, all of the financial side of it, and the macroeconomic side and all this kind of stuff and really just don't see any future other than cryptocurrencies radically changing pretty much everything. <laughs> um, and so interested to see what these guys say. I've read a couple of books that are against uh, the whole thing and kind of trying to make the case against it. And none of those have really convinced me at all that this stuff is not going to happen. And so this just seemed like a really good one coming out um, by some reputable guys who uh, who just have hopefully some interesting things to say and some interesting ideas about what the future will look like with all that because it's coming fast. <laughs> um, next up, we had Making It in America, the almost impossible quest to manufacture in the USA and how it got that way. That's been a really big thing for me recently is getting things that are made in America and companies um, like Origin and um, 
uh, like GoRuck is another company. I really love the people that are trying to bring manufacturing back to the U.S. And so I just saw this book and was like, oh my gosh, that looks so good. I would love to just kind of hear more of the ins and outs of what that takes and what that looks like uh, because I know it's really hard, but I also believe it's super important. And so, yeah, really excited to, to grab this one. Next up, uh, one of my favorite authors of all time, bar none, Cal Newport, his new book, Slow Productivity, The Lost Art of Accomplishment Without Burnout. Um, I love everything Cal has ever done. He is one of my heroes as far as work and the type of work that I do and how I want to go about doing it. I just I love the message that the man preaches and so cannot be more excited for, for this book. I just, oh, I'm so excited for it. <laughs> And then after that one, we have Carl Truman wrote a book called Crisis of Confidence, Reclaiming the Historic Faith in a Culture Consumed with Individualism and Identity. Carl wrote a book called Strange New World, How Thinkers and Activists Redefined Identity and Sparked the Sexual Revolution. And that book was mind-blowing and just so good and automatically put Carl at the top of my list of like current Christian theologians and people um, just addressing the issues and the state of culture right now. And so this one was just, I saw this and was like, yes, for sure, 100% gonna buy that one. <laughs> um, that just sounds so, so good. Uh, and then to round it out, we have another memoir, Rescue Story, Faith, Freedom, and Finding My Way Home by Zach Williams. I'm not a giant Zach Williams fan, but I do really like his music, and I actually am friends with his, uh, his lead electric guitar player. And so I was like, oh, this would be really fun. I'd love to kind of know more of his story. I didn't really know anything. I kind of read the description of this and was like, oh, I didn't even know. That's kind of where he came from and whatever. So... Um, it's always really cool for me to read uh, music memoirs from people that are in the music business because of all the music stuff that I do as well. And uh, yeah, just really excited for that one. So yeah, let me know. Any of those interest you guys? Any of those you planning on reading? Those are 10 that I'm for sure planning on reading. Um, I'm also going to be making a video hopefully in the next couple of days of a 2024 reading list. I've never planned out my reading for a year. Um, but I'm gonna try it this year and we'll just see what happens. So yeah, yeah, then that way you guys have an idea too and if you wanna read some of them along with me, you can. So anyways, there's 10 for you. Let me know what you think. Let me know which ones are coming out that you're excited about and yeah, catch you in the next one.